Hey folks, so again, yet another auction. So I bought, uh, let's see how many lots, uh, 20 lots. Uh, very disappointed with myself this time around. Um, uh, there's a few screw-ups, in my opinion. Uh, spent $517. Now, also had to drive an hour and 15 minutes there, hour and 15 minutes back, so two and a half hour drive just to pick this stuff up. Um, like I said, a little disappointed. Uh, didn't get the things I was kind of going after. Some higher end items, some signs and such. Uh, and this is basically, most of this is stuff that I bid on kind of as additional stuff. Uh, one in case in point for screw-ups is this Bulldog bag holder. When you get looking at it, in the photograph it was from far away so it looked sort of like um, an original advertising on it, but it's actually been stenciled with marker. So not what I thought it was. So is unfortunate, should have realized that, but so that's kind of a screw up there. That'll just go into some other auction. And oh, if you hear noises, I'm getting some renovation done on the outside of the building. So just ignore that. Uh, and then I got a, uh, tabletop hockey game which uh, cost me not a whole lot uh, $25 which is fine I could sell them in for probably double that um, yeah so anyway that's all right that's probably a hundred dollar game something like that and so that was okay then got this grinder, uh, cost $40. It's worth about a hundred and a quarter, so I'll still make money in that. That's not a bad buy. Uh, not gonna be a quick sale though. And then I got a Ford uh, brake fluid thing here. Uh, it was a $6 purchase. It came with some other modern pieces that I'll just get rid of. Um, then this Coleman lamp uh, was $25. Got a good shade with it the shade is probably 75 so yeah I'll make money on that I'm fine um, then got some area histories uh, bridging Brenda this is probably a hundred dollar type uh, area history then got this more reflections I think this is about a forty dollar one from what I recall and then this Beck in the Hills one it's normally about a forty five dollar book but it's pretty taped up and not in the best of shape and what do they cost um, let's see $75 so they weren't cheap for the three of them but uh, I'll still make money on them and then this tray cost me $85 now I don't know if you can spot anything in there that's obvious but uh, we'll go through some of the stuff uh, Candless Westinghouse Mazda Miniature Lamps. That's actually a full new old stock box. So that's okay. Uh, dual speaker switch kit. I don't know what that's about. I think it, it wasn't actually opened. Oh yeah, it's a accessory, auto accessory uh, thing here. Where you could uh, switch your speakers over to one, two, or both. Uh, let's see, we've got a really rough advertising piece that's not of any consequence uh, we've got a meter here Weindorf double duty voltmeter and a Bakelite case uh, this was one of the good pieces in this lot was a voice moto meter right here unfortunately I see it's got a crack in it which I didn't see in the listing um, it didn't show in the photograph so that's unfortunate but anyway still uh, oh and it's got a little flattening here too still good piece though a uh, little atomizer we've got a voltage tester another little amp meter which is probably worth 15 bucks uh, I was mainly after this little West Clocks uh, clock this is a car clock so 
I think these are worth about 85, something like that. Uh, maybe a little more. I'd have to double check. But with the Boyce motor meter and the West Clocks, I'll make money. Uh, although I did pay fair for these. And this is a, what is this? I don't know. It looks like a cigar case of some kind. Um, let's see. Try to pull it apart here. Yeah, that's what it is. A cigarette or cigar case. Um, it's got some advertising on it from, let's see, Shenley or somebody. Can you tell, guys? Uh, I can't tell here. Hmm. Best English Saddles. Oh, so it's an advertising piece for a saddle company. That's kind of neat. A little different. But I'll make money in that lot. Um, again, not tons, but whatever. Uh, there was a couple other lots. This stuff came in. I um, forget what I paid for this washboard and some other stuff. This washboard will just go right back into another auction. So it's a little too rough for the store. Uh, these coal uh, shovels. One has got rust holes right through it and the other one's modern. So they're going into auction again. And we've got some books, old tractors, Ford and Fordson tractor, uh, busted tractors and rusty knuckles, whatever that one's about. That's kind of obvious, isn't it? And Ford tr tractors and implements, classic farm tractors, uh, international harvester, Vintage International Harvester Tractors, Ford Tractors, Vintage Ford Tractors. I do okay with these books, so I'm not sure what I paid for these. Uh, this is Farm Tractor Color History Threshers, and Farm Tractors The Living History. Um, all these tractor books cost me $10, so I'm in the money on them. I'm doing just fine because most of them will be ten to forty five dollars a piece so yeah I'll make money farm tractors again living history 50 years of farm tractors and Ford and Fordson farm tractors or tractors plowman's progress so yeah I got that stuff and still got more so stay tuned so here's the second batch of stuff from that auction uh, I got this radio antenna and didn't realize it was modern. It was $5, so not out a whole lot. I'll run it back into another auction. Not going to have it in the store. Um, let's see, you got to Swan Soap advertising uh, washboard. It's kind of cool. Really neat. Carved everything and yes it's legit somebody didn't just carve that in there on a whim they were made like that and let's see I also got uh, the stuff in the tray here let's see what have we got uh, a little slicer of some sort that one looks nasty doesn't it um, yeah kind of nasty looking um, it's not sharp though, so oh yes it is. <laughs> Never mind. It is sharp. Uh, okay, another barn lap globe. A little bottle, it's no consequence. Passenger and commercial reference book in 1940. So yeah, that's kind of neat. And Ford X service information. So flat rate book from 1923 for servicing Model T's service handbook Ford Mercury Lincoln Zephyr so that's kind of cool shop theory Henry Ford trade school Dearborn Michigan have to check on that one see what kind of money that's worth um, the Ford carburetor comprehensive guide so it's a modern thing made for the uh, Model T Ford Club of America and got some more Model T Club of America stuff. Yep. And another one. Yeah. So, that stuff. Then we got some lamps. Or a lamp. 
coil lamp with a couple a common funnel and a laden wick some wicking and got this other a lot or not a laden common lamp as well in that lot uh, i'm not sure what i paid for them not a lot I'm pretty sure it wasn't a lot uh, we've got another area history our first century town of melita municipality of arthur then we've got some repair manuals motors truck and re tractor repair manual fourth edition and another one from the same and same publisher got a shop manual chrysler 1955 to 56 along with a motors auto repair manual another one of those from 19 oh don't know don't know what year that's from oh well Motors Auto Repair Manual from 1956 and IS Guide to Seals Interchange Corporated first edition not sure how old that is has a kind of a 50s 60s look to it maybe a little newer we'll see and another Chrysler Shop Manual from 55-56 and we've got a couple brass uh, air pumps here tire pumps and a level from Stanley Stanley level there and a teapot and copper kettle uh, that came with a bunch of other kitchen junk that was modern that I just sent off to the thrift store and last but not least this is interesting for those of you into automotive stuff it's a KMC unit that is for a model t now this is a carburetor for running kerosene on your model t so that's kind of cool unique um probably worth a hundred and a half something like that um i think i paid 40 or 45 something like that for it so i did all right neat piece uh, if you're into Model T's or automotive history, but yeah, you could run your car on kerosene So anyway, that's what I got folks. Thanks for watching Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care folks